Tear breakup time is an indicator of tear film stability. It is observed non-invasively by reflecting myers, often in the form of grid patterns or placido disc, from the air-liquid interface. The patient is asked to blink normally and then refrain from blinking as long as possible. The time taken for the first disruption or a distortion to appear in the reflective Meyer pattern is recorded. Due to the inherent variability in this measurement, an average of three measures is usually taken. Corneal topographic instrumentation can allow objective assessment of the placido disc distortion that occurs with tear film thinning and breakup. Real-time image analysis algorithms can highlight these areas following a blink, as seen in this video. A map of the areas that break up over the ocular surface over time is generated, along with an overall breakup time profile. A shallow gradient indicates gradual destabilization of the film, whereas dry eye patients tend to exhibit a quicker breakup time with a steeper gradient. Other instruments can project myers from the tear film surface for subjective evaluation of the tear breakup time with a digital timer. Often a grid can be inserted to make the breakup easier to detect. An increasing number of instruments can achieve a similar effect. In instances where instrumentation is not available to enable non-invasive tear stability assessment, visualization of the breakup can be facilitated at the slit lamp with the use of fluorescein and a blue light. It should be noted, however, that this technique is invasive and can distort the estimation of tear film stability, especially if too much volume is instilled. To undertake a breakup time measurement in this way, fluorescein is first instilled. A saline drop should be placed on a fluorescein strip without touching the bottle and the excess fluorescein flicked off. The strip should be applied flat to the temporal camphal lid margin area while the patient looks up as this avoids damaging cornea, conjunctiva and lid margins that will subsequently be assessed. The best time to assess fluorescein staining is approximately one to three minutes after installation. A wide, bright blue beam should be used to excite the fluorescein with a yellow bandpass filter in front of the observation system to enhance the fluorescein view. The time taken between a blink and the first appearance of a dark spot as indicated by the arrow, is recorded. And again, due to the variability in the measurement, three recordings are generally averaged.